supercomputing center here in Ostrava in the Czech Republic. It is the biggest supercomputing center in the country. We've been exploring a little bit what you need to do in order to keep one of these massive machines happy. Interestingly, the atmosphere inside there is already different to what we would have out here. So normally you'd have 21% oxygen inside there, 15% oxygen in the air, which means were you to go in there with a lit candle, it would actually go out. There's not enough oxygen for it to be able to burn. That, of course, is a fire prevention measure. The other smart thing that they've got here is that they're using the heat from the computers in order to create hot water and heat the building here as well. It's snowing outside, so it's great to have a nice warm computer right in the middle of the building. The thing we've come here to explore is how you use a supercomputer. Now, supercomputers um, are enormous, massive machines. As you can see behind me, basically, you've got the power of about 13,000 laptops linked together by a very, very, very high speed connection. You use those things for scientific research, that's what it's doing most of the time, but you can also use it in different companies and apply it to different technologies, engineering problems that you might have, and that's something they've been developing here in order to stimulate the local economy. And one of the things we, we did was to go and visit a company who make train seats, the company called Borcat, and they have been using this supercomputer to boost their innovation capacity with their train seats. What they were doing, in fact, was simulating crash tests inside a virtual environment inside this supercomputer. When they do a normal crash test, it costs them around 13,000 euros. They need to do a real crash test with a real machine. Using this kind of virtual space they can use with these super powerful computers, they can avoid those costs and they can really improve their design, make sure that they're using the steel in the right places, the welds in the right places. They've actually managed to pass some very important safety tests and actually also make lighter seats because of this virtual prototyping that they've been doing. Another company that we've been talking to, Invent Medical Group, they are using the supercomputing power here in order to improve uh, medical devices. So they've been working on, uh, for example, helmets that you might give to a, a baby with a slightly misshapen head. You put the, these uh, 3D printed helmets onto the baby's head and it helps it to grow into a, into a nice shape. And they've again been using the power of the supercomputer for virtual prototyping, working in a virtual space in order to test out the compounds in order to make sure they have the right stiffness levels inside the medical devices. So really interesting to see how a supercomputer, which we might normally use for things like weather forecasting or for science research looking at earth observation imagery, is also being used to stimulate the local economy, help the SMEs here in the Czech Republic.